Welcome to my channel. In this video we'll create a simple model to simulate a three-phase BLDC and investigate its back EMF profile. First we'll briefly cover the difference between a BLDC motor and a PMSM. BLDC and PMSM have a lot in common. Neither have brushes, both have permanent magnets on the rotor and have an armature on the stator. Where they differ is in how the magnetic field produced by the rotor magnets interacts with the windings of the armature. Movement of the rotor magnets past the stator tooth induces a back EMF into the windings of the armature. When the phase phase back EMF is plotted with electrical angle it may look sinusoidal, trapezoidal, or somewhere in between. If a motor produces a trapezoidal back EMF, then it is considered BLDC motor. Since this shape is similar to what would be seen from a conventional brush DC motor. If your motor produces a sinusoidal back EMF, then it is generally considered to be a PMSM. If you have access to an oscilloscope, then determining if your motor is a PMSM or a BLDC motor is as simple as measuring across any two phases and spinning the rotor to observe the back EMF shape. In Simulink, We'll create a scenario where we turn the motor shaft while having open terminals at all three phases and then measure the voltage produced at one of the phases to observe the back EMF. We'll now create a physical model to simulate this scenario using Simscape. In the Simulink library browser, we first navigate to the power systems, after that Simscape components, machines, permanent magnet rotor, and drag the BLDC block to the canvas. This block represents a BLDC with a trapezoidal back EMF profile. You can use your motor's data sheet to set the values of the block parameters under the rotor, stator and mechanical tabs. In the later videos, we'll talk about the parameterization in more detail. The ports at the left hand side of the block are for electrical connections and the ones on the right are for the mechanical connections. Create open terminals, we first expand the composite port to three phases and then connect an open circuit block to each of the phases. To connect the motor's neutral phase to the ground, we use the electrical reference block. Now we're going to work on the mechanical connections of the motor. To make the motor shaft turn, the motor is driven by using an ideal angular velocity source block. can think of this block as a torque source that will make the rotor follow a specified angular trajectory. We then connect a mechanical reference to the ports labeled with C. The velocity source block has a second input, which is a physical signal. In order to make the motor rotate at a constant speed, we'll input a constant value to the block. This block outputs a Simulink signal. We need to convert it to a physical signal by using the Simulink PS converter. To solve the Simscape model we just created, we use the solver block where we choose to use the local solver and also set the sample time. We'll discuss how to choose a sample time in a later video. Now we can simply pick one of the three phases and measure the back EMF. 
Let's connect the voltage sensor to phase A to measure phase A's back EMF voltage. Output of the voltage sensor block is a simscape signal. In order to convert it to a simulink signal, this time we use PS simulink converter and connect the signal to a scope for visualization. And we simulate this model and view the back EMF voltage of phase A. We observe that the back EMF exhibits a trapezoidal shape, including regions where the voltage remains flat. This concludes the video. Thank you for watching, and have a nice day.